Number 45, acetic acid is a weak acid that reacts with water according to this equation, and then they give me this equation right here. Will any of the following increase the percent of acetic acid that reacts and produces the acetate ion? Acetate ion is CH3CO2 minus. Okay, so they give me a balanced equation. I'm just going to rewrite that and make it a little bigger. So what we're working with is we're working with acetic acid, which is CH3. CO2H, that's aqueous, plus H2O, that's a liquid, and this will come to equilibrium. I see that there's a double arrow with H3O plus, and that's aqueous, and then we got the acetic acid. Uh, no, actually, acetate. Okay. So, let's go back to the question. It said, will any of these increase the percent of acetic acid that reacts and produces this? So from that sentence, we basically have to make a decision. Are they talking about go going in the forward direction or the reverse direction? If you want to increase the percent of acetic acid that produces this, so it looks like I'm starting with this and I am producing this. Look at that arrow. It looks like we're going in the forward direction. So in this case, we are forcing that we want to go in the forward direction. Now we're going to look at these three different instances. They have nothing to do with one another to see whether I will go in the forward direction. If I go in the reverse direction, you know, that would not be the answer. So I don't know if there's going to be two yes answers. Maybe they're not going to be any, but we'll see. So let's start with letter A. We're going to add the addition of HCl. Now, HCl, remember, HCl is on your list of one of your six strong acids, right? HCl is a very, very, very strong acid, and all strong acids, all six of them, will almost break apart 100% very, 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 very close to 100%, we could assume that it's 100%, into its ions. The HCl would break down into H plus and Cl minus. Now, the first thing that you would do and, you know, uh, cross your fingers <laughs> is that you would see that if one of these would match this. Now, there's a trick here, guys, because it's chemistry, <laughs> and there's always tricks or exceptions in chem, right? Now, I don't specifically see H plus or Cl minus, right, in my balanced equation, but I'm going to put up here that H plus is the same thing as H3O plus. They are equivalent. They are both known as hydronium. And the only difference in the notation is that this is just based off of one waters, one water, and this is based off of reacting uh, two waters together, but they are equivalent. So since I have H plus here, I'm going to treat this as H3O plus. And now I see a match. So now let's just run through it. If I'm adding HCl, this is going to increase, which means that the ions are going to increase. So that means that I have more H plus. And since H plus is the same thing as H3O plus, I have an increase in that. Now I come to my balanced equation and I say, here it is. I'm going to increase that. Now we do Le Chatelier's principle to see what's going to happen after I added too much H3O+. If you add a lot of something, right, you have way too much. You don't want that addition. You want to get rid of it. So when that happens, you always will shift to the opposite side, meaning that if your increase happens on the product side, you will go towards the reactant side. You want to get rid of it. You don't want to produce more of it. You need to get rid of it. So in this case, you will shift towards the reactant side and do the arrows match? No, we need to go in the forward reaction. This instance, we're going backwards. So would letter A increase the percent of acetic acid that reacts and produces the acetate ion? No. And letter A is done. Now, 
We get rid of all that information and we move on to letter B. So we basically do the same exact thing. Now we're adding NaOH. And remember, NaOH is one of your six bases now, right? It's one of your six strong bases. And just like the HCl, I'm going to break down the NaOH. This breaks down into Na plus and OH minus. Let's hope that something matches. I'm looking for an Na plus or an OH minus in my equation, but I don't see either. And there's no other way that I can express OH minus, right? So, oh boy, we got to think of a different way. But there's a thing here, right? When you have OH minus, this is basically the, the, the big part to the base, the OH minus. And remember, bases always reacts with acids. So the OH component of the base will always react with the, uh, the acid component of an acid, Re mostly the H plus, right? This is the acid component of acids, and this is the basic component of the base. So OH minus will always react with either H plus or since H plus, we now know H plus is the same thing as H3O plus, they will be the same thing. And what you get is you get out water. So let's think about this. If I increase the NaOH, right, that means that I basically have more OH minus. So if I have more OH minus, that means I'm going to produce more water, right? So what's going to happen to the H3O plus? If I were producing more water, that means that I'm basically taking from the H3O plus. I have to take from the H3O plus to make H2O. So the H plus or the H3O plus will decrease. And that is on my balanced equation. So now in this case, I know that I have a drop in the H3O plus. So that's how we get to the balanced equation. Even though, you know, this had nothing to do with the balanced equation, Na plus and OH minus, well, then you do the acid base reaction. Na plus plus A, uh, sorry, OH minus plus H plus will always get me water. And if I am making water, that means I have to lower my reactant, the H plus. Now let's do Le Chatelier's principle. I have now way too low of it. I need to get it back. If you have too little of something, you always will shift to that side. You want to produce it more. So if the decrease is happening on the product side, I will shift to the product side to make more of it. And look, if I do that, do the arrows match? Yes, they do. So will the addition of NaOH increase the percent that produces acetate? Yes, it will. So this is one of the answers. Now we just got to do letter C. So I'm going to erase this arrow and we're going to basically do the same exact thing. So letter C, I have Na CH3 CO2. This is a salt. We got to break it down, right? So we break it down into its two components, Na plus and then CH3 CO2 minus. This type of idea, remember guys, we learned this way back in the beginning of chem. So that's why it's really important for you to memorize those concepts because they will always come back. But if you guys are in chem two at the moment, don't worry because you know I've done those problems for you. Just go back. I think it's like chapter one or two, I think chapter two, that we learned how to break these down. So if you just need a quick refresher, you could always go back to those chapters. It's on the channel, okay? So now let's see if they match. Na plus or CH2CO, CH3CO2 minus. I'm going to scan this, and here it is, right? This matches beautifully. So let's run through it. If I'm adding this, that means that I have way more of this. And since it's exactly the same, this will increase. Now we do Le Chatelier's principle. If you're increasing that, you have way too much. You got to get rid of it, right? And if you have too much, you always shift to the opposite side. So since I have too much of this, I don't want to be going toward it again. I need to be going away. And do the arrows match? 
No, they don't. So would the addition of uh, sodium acetate increase the percentage? No. And there you go. Three answers for the question. This one was a big one, guys, but hopefully, hopefully we got this, all right? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm looking forward to helping you with more problems. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Uh, that just gets the word out there that, you know, that this cool service exists. And I think it's pretty cool, right? Educational, fun chem videos. We also got math videos and physics videos on the channel at the moment and much more subjects to come. Uh, so hang tight. If you have a suggestion for a subject you want us to do, let us know. Love to hear from you guys. I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.